Ann Larson and I'm the laboratory director of the Winona Health Lab. So my role as a laboratory director is to ensure that we produce quality results um, quickly and efficiently using you know, the best technology and to get them to the patient and to the provider for the treatment of the patient as quickly as possible. Using more automation uh, in the artificial intelligence and how robotics could be implemented into the laboratory, which led us to a robotic track system, which improve workflows and enhance safety features. Uh, also would give us you know, a more predictable timeliness of results and decrease that staff variation that was there with manual processes. Uh, what we were trying to do with the the automated track system was a lot different than what we currently had. So we wanted to be sure that the, the system from Beckman Coulter would fit into our existing footprint of our, our laboratory. We mocked up full scale uh, proposed changes to the layouts using cardboard uh, folding tables. So it lo looked a little silly, but the, the staff could really you know, interact full scale, walk around, better understand how this proposed layout of a laboratory would affect their work workflow and that better informed uh, the feedback that they gave to us on surveys. They also had opportunity to provide you know, written comments that were more thought out. Uh, and they were also giving drawings of each iteration so that they could actually mark them up, you know, put arrows, move this here, that sort of thing, to really give us a better idea between each iteration how it is that we would you know, figure out what our pain points were and where it is that we needed to improve going forward. As a CAP accredited lab, our mission is to adhere to the highest standards of quality uh, when delivering fast, accurate, and cost-effective laboratory results. So using a track system like the DXA 5000 um, allows us to add a higher degree of mechanical precision when delivering those results, all within maintaining CAP and CLIA standards. When a specimen is collected from a patient and is sent directly to the lab uh, for processing, and once it arrives in the lab, uh, we log it into the electronic medical record, um, and then we load it onto the automation line in the input module. Um, once loaded, there is a robot in the module that takes a picture of the tube. It determines CAP color, tube type, how much specimen is in the tube and all that stuff, figures out the test that needs to be ran and whether or not the tube needs to be centrifuge. Um, if it does, it goes to the centrifuge module where it spins for a total of four minutes. The whole process is about seven minutes long um, once it gets put on the track line. And from the track line, it gets put in a puck and it goes to the corresponding analyzer that needs to be tested on. And once the testing is finished, it goes to the output module where it then gets stored in what we call the ECSD, which is just a big refrigerator that stores the tubes. Instead of us walking and taking the steps to each analyzer, it routes it to each analyzer where we have a whole command center where we're seeing what, what is happening minute to minute with this, this tube blood um, and can verify our results just in, in one place. So the main reasons that we explored this technology for Winona Health is really because of quality, safety, efficiency, and accuracy of our lab results. Winona Health isn't an organization that sits still. When we see opportunities, we seize them. We look for ways to improve our processes at every point in time, at every level of the organization. 80% of all lab testing is performed using the new automated track system and it is evident that the artificial intelligence, robotics, interfaces and technology and overall the automation has advanced the Winona Health Lab into its future which is now its current state.